Scientists are learning from cloning work with mammals, but objectors point to Dolly the sheep as evidence that it should never be allowed to happen in humans. Professor Keith Campbell was Dolly's co-creator. He's listened to the argument that Dolly's arthritis and early death can be blamed on the fact that she was a clone. To my knowledge, I don't think there is any evidence that Dolly aged prematurely um, compared to a, a, another animal of the same age, which was produced by natural breeding techniques. Don't let it appear that I'm saying that all of the animals we produce by this technique are normal. It's a very inefficient technique, and we don't understand the mechanisms which control development. So we produce some abnormal and also dead um, fetuses and animals. Despite the animal data, some scientists are forging ahead in pursuit of the ultimate aim, to clone a human. Critics ask why should anyone want to do this? One of the few compelling arguments is to give infertile couples a baby. One man actively trying to produce a human clone is Dr. Panos Savos. We are at a very advanced stage as far as our human cloning program, and uh, we are obviously quite confident that we can execute uh, and we can create clone embryos that are healthy, can implant those clone embryos and yield a viable pregnancy, and I hope to deliver the baby at the end of this year. Our poll asked when a human will be successfully cloned, and the most common belief is that it's already happened somewhere in secret. A third think it will happen within the next five years, while only one in seven believe there will never be a successful human clone. I think what we can assume here is that it, if it hasn't already been done, it's going to be done. We're going to wake up one day and someone will have done it. This is no longer a technical problem. This is just a question of which researchers are likely to pull it off first.